John 3:16 and 17 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved Acts 2:21 And it shall come to pass that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Psalm 62, 1 Truly my soul waits upon God. From him cometh my salvation. Romans 1, 16 For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. 2 Timothy 1.9 Who has saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given to us in Christ Jesus before time began. Habakkuk 3.18 Yet I will rejoice in the Lord, I will joy in the God of my salvation. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. Romans 5, 10. For if when we were enemies we were reconciled to God through the death of his Son, much more, having been reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Romans 10.9 That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Acts 4.12 Nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Luke 19.10 for the Son of Man has come to seek and save that which was lost. Hebrews 9.28 So Christ was offered once to bear the sins of many. To those who eagerly wait for him, he will appear a second time, apart from sin, for salvation. 1 John 5.12 He who has the Son has life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. Ezekiel 36, 26 I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. Psalm eighteen thirty five and 36 You have also given me the shield of your salvation. Your right hand has held me up. Your gentleness has made me great. You enlarged my path under me, so my feet did not slip. John 3.36 He who believes in the Son has everlasting life, and he who does not believe the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. 1 Peter 2.9 But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. 2 Corinthians 7.10 For godly sorrow produces repentance leading to salvation, not to be regretted but the sorrow of the world produces death. Colossians 1, 13 and 14 He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the Son of His love, in whom we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins. Acts sixteen thirty one, They said, Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, you and your household.